The Dallas Stars found themselves in another overtime game, but they fall just short this time around. What's up, everyone? Dane Lewis here with the Locked on Stars podcast, coming to you after the Dallas Stars road matchup with their rivals, the Nashville Predators. The Stars fall short 2-1 to one in a game that went to a shootout, four rounds of a shootout. In fact, Jake Ottinger, despite losing in the shootout, had a fantastic night going toe-to-toe with Vesna candidate UC Saros on Pecorine night. His number 35 immortalized in the Raptors of the Bridgestone Arena before the game. And those two guys gave a great show for the fans in attendance. Unfortunately, Jake Ottinger falling just short this time around, but still big to see him come out and give such an impressive performance after playing last night against the Winnipeg Jets and having a valiant effort in that game as well. Uh, and Jake Ottinger has been doing this a lot lately, going toe to toe with some of the biggest names as far as goalies go in the NHL, Connor Hellebuck, Marc-Andre Fleury, and this night, UC Saros. The big problem in this game continues to be the Stars' power play. Neither team's power play able to execute at all throughout this matchup. Both teams combining zero for nine uh, on the power play on the main advantage in this game. The Stars had an opportunity in overtime before on three that they couldn't execute on. They need to get the power play back in gear if they want to seriously compete for a playoff spot and compete in said playoffs. But nonetheless, good to see the Stars come away with this game. Uh, with a point. Uh, every point matters and always hard to get points in Nashville. The Stars able to do that. They now have time to rest Friday and Saturday, and they have a home matchup against the inferior Buffalo Sabres coming up on Sunday. We'll break down this game and talk a little bit about that game on tomorrow's episode of Locked on Stars. We'll see you there.